Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick. I said another. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the lightweight bout between Demir Ismagulov versus Guram Kudalaze. And I see this one right here. So you got the black horse of the dark horse, whatever you want to call it. He got the the secret mystery fighter that, you know, a lot of people still are sleeping on in the lightweight division, Demir Ismagulov. And he already got what, like two or three decent wins. Tiago Moises, pretty solid win, but you know, it's kind of depreciating. What's his name? That big tall Spanish fighter, I forget his name right now, but who just got done in by Armar Sirakin, but still very under the radar, decent fighter. And then the Brazilian fighter, like I said, these names kind of eluding me right now, but yeah, I'm trying to make a point, but I'm not actually having the points behind him because I don't have the names eluding me right now. But anyway, we been fighting, you know, being a lot of, take, taking off a lot of decent guys and making them look far less good than they are like all those guys are beats in their own right and he made them look you know almost average matter of fact, let me just i'm literally gonna just google this right now mid video so i can just put the names to what i'm trying <laughs> to, to the faces you know put the names to the faces excuse me i just burped so you got um rafael alves who's still i'm not saying rafael alves is gonna rock up the division but he can definitely stick around and definitely pull off a lot of good wins in the division like rafael alves Outside that drop in the first round, he made him look pretty average. Tiago Moises shut him down pretty easily, made him look average. Joe Alvarez, he struck him the whole fight. And, you know, that really messed up a lot of my picks with Joe Alvarez going forward. Like, after that, because he made him look so average, I just thought, like, who is Joe Alvarez? He's this guy that just don't belong in the UFC, to be honest. It's just that, it's not that Joe Alvarez was never good. This guy literally beat these people and made them look like they weren't that as good as they were. And Guram Kudalazi, on his side, I would say he did not beat, um, I'm forgetting the guy's name, and I'm forgetting another name. He did not beat his last opponent, in my opinion. But I guess he go by current MMA standards, and you know, the judges be on different um, judging scales every now and then. He did win by current judging standards, but by that age, he did not beat Garron. But anyway, yeah. I just feel like with this one, um, Demir Ismagalov, I feel like he's a more polished striker. I feel like he's a more overall polished fighter. I do like the fact that Guram Kulaze has trained with Kamza Chimaev, and you know it clearly showed that he's been with some good wrestlers, good grapplers against um, Gamrot. Like he did get taken down, he get control a lot of the fight, but some good scrambles, some good defense, some good submission attempts. Like he was not uncomfortable in any position, he was attacking every single position. I feel like he lost the fight. He got his hand raised, but I feel like he lost the fight. But he at no point was out of that fight. He was fully comfortable with one of the best grapplers in the division right now. Yeah, so definitely a beast. I definitely. Win or lose this fight, he got a good career ahead of him in the UFC. But unless he gets plagued by injuries or continues to get plagued by injuries, but yeah, I just feel like it's not the same fight against Garrett. I feel like Garrett, you know, has some—he's a well-rounded fighter, but he was definitely more so very predictable with this the, um, wrestling. Like he was go heavily going wrestling. I feel like Demir Magalov would be able to pressure him, cut him off, land shots, you know, mix the takedowns in when he needs to, or mix in the clinch when he needs to. But I feel like he could like. Cut him off, pepper him with a jab, counter his kicks pretty well, chew up his legs, and just really just dissect him and break him down. It's still gonna be a competitive fight nonetheless, but I feel like it'll be a surgeon, surgical performance from Demir Magalov. Probably gonna be another performance where people are like not really gonna see how good he is, or they're gonna say, Oh, Guram is this, was he was injured, or he was oh he, he didn't really even beat that. You know, they're gonna kinda another winning or downplay, but Demir Magalov, I see this guy rocketing up the division. And the next thing you know, like nobody gonna know who he is, and they're gonna say, Next night, oh, Act like they know him this whole time. They don't know who he is right now, but pretty soon they're going to know who he is and they're going to act like they knew him all the time. But this guy has been in division, put in the work. His wins may not look impressive because we've actually been fighting a pretty limp, like tough test of fighters, but he's been making them look non-impressive. That's a, a very impressive thing to do. So, um, yeah, I just see him being better, you know, checking all the boxes, out striking him, controlling the pace of the fight, mixing takedowns when needed or not, just to control the fight. And beat him to a decision. So in this fight, I got Demir Ismagulov via decision.